Hey, Happy New Year's Eve, guys. So I just got done pulling out some money out of my local ATM. It was at this gas station that's over there. I didn't know you can't really make it out. Uh, but I did something that I hadn't done in quite a while. Um, actually, I did one other time early back in the summer, and that's basically going to a business and, you know, go in without a mask, you know, and just basically defy all their, their stupid orders. I really got motivated when I seen a bus drive by me and they had a sign that pretty much said mask on. You know, they're telling everybody to mask on and then I started looking around more and more. Realized there were people in their cars driving around with masks on. I still don't understand that. It's sheep-esque, if that's even a word. But it just motivated me, you know what I mean? It really motivated me to just kind of say, okay, enough. I, I, I just had enough. I had to pull some money out of the ATM. And I, I, you know, I had my face covering with me. Yeah, I just went ahead. I just said, fuck that face covering. I was done. Went in there. And, and the trick is here, I'm going to show you what the trick was. How to avoid a confrontation with individuals. That, when you, you know, I was just going in for the ATM. I wasn't purchasing anything. So I figured I'd just go in there. And what I did was I just had one of my Bluetooth headphones, put it on, walked in there, pretend I was listening to music. I, I didn't have no music on or anything. I wasn't talking to nobody on the phone or anything. I just put them on. I heard uh, the little Asian lady, you know, saying, uh, mask on, mask on, mask on, over and over again. Uh, I just played it off like I was listening to music. Uh, went to the ATM, made my transaction, and left. No big issue, no big problem, you know. I, I'm, I'm figuring, though, if I was to say something, you know, not have the headphones on, and she would have been with the whole mask on, mask on thing, I probably would have went into some sort of debate. And I just wanted to avoid the confrontation, you know. People are going to have to start realizing that there is a segment of people like myself that are just kind of done with this whole thing. There is no real science to prove that this is a, a, a an emergency that's going to warrant everyone to mandatory mask. There's just nothing there. And, and the masks don't even really help unless you got an N95. We already know that. But people are walking around with gaiters, which are absolutely worse than not wearing anything at all. And they're wearing, you know, bandanas and kind of, you know, just all kinds of nonsense. It, it's just no reason for it, you know? And I was just done with it. So I started off the end of the year by defying these stupid orders. And uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to continuously do that more and more because what I'm seeing now is nothing more what, what I would call the mimic effect. And that's pretty much because you want to... I see it as people kind of want to not be left out of the norm, you know? You want to be part of the normal. You want to be like everybody else. And I think one person does it off, sees one other person wearing a mask, then that person puts on a mask, and then some other person sees that person with a mask. And it just kind of, it's a mimic effect. They just don't want to be uh, the oddball out. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't care. And I get a lot of dirty looks over those paper masks, and I don't really care. I mean, because if you're going to say something to me, that's going to be a whole other issue. And I don't think people want to go down that lane. You know what I mean? So, it felt good. It was a good start to ending the horrible 2020 we've had. And uh, to just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go. If there's a New, New Year's resolution to tie into this little bit right here, is I'm going to do a lot more of this defying, uh, of this, this ridiculous nonsense to start living my life according to facts and not feelings. With that being said, uh, I'm done for my rant in 2020. Peace out. Mask on, mask on, mask on.